Honourable Vice-Chancellor, it is with great pleasure that I present Professor Hideo Ono to you as an honorary graduate. Professor Ono, the 22nd and current president of Tohoku University, is widely recognized as the world leader in the field of spintronics due to his phenomenal ac academic record, international profile, and impact on technology. He's published over 600 papers, which have been cited well over 100,000 times, and delivers over 20 invited talks annually at international conferences and world-leading institutions. For the last 20 years, spintronics has been one of the most important areas of research in the field of solid-state physics and electronics. Our technological data-driven world is based on manipulating the electron, the most useful fundamental particle. The relentless increase in speed in data processing makes use of the electron's charge. But the world of storing this data uses the fact that the electron also has a spin, which makes it a tiny magnet. One particle, two properties. How much more potential might there be if we were to combine the power of magnetism and electronics together? This is the vision of spintronics, and Professor Ono is one of the pioneers who has been instrumental in bringing these two scientific worlds together for the technological benefit of society. In the 1980s, when Professor Ono was studying for his PhD at the University of Tokyo, and then establishing his career in Hokkaido, the worlds of semiconductor technology and magnetic materials were worlds apart. He spent some of those early formative years as a visiting scientist at the prestigious IBM TJ Watson Research Center, which was at the vanguard of computing technology, before being appointed as a full professor at Tohoku University in 1994 and the Research Institute of Electrical Communications from 1995. The list of his major contributions to spintronics is impressive. In the early 1990s, he found a way to make non-magnetic semiconductors magnetic. In 2000, he was one of the first to demonstrate that the ferromagnetic properties of a semiconductor could be manipulated electrically using a voltage in the same way that we control electrical con conductivity in semiconductors. In 2010 came another major breakthrough, this time in perpendicular magnetism, which allowed data storage densities to increase tenfold. This also led to an important patent on magnetic random access memory and the realization of the vision of another Tohoku scientist, Professor Iwasaki. Professor Zono's work continues on the important challenges in the field, such as in antiferromagnetic spintronics, which promises even higher operational speeds, and even in brain-inspired computing. But most importantly, he works closely with industry to bring to fruition the benefits of these energy-efficient, high-speed information technologies. Professor Ono is also carrying on the long tradition at Tohoku University of being at the forefront of advanced technology. He follows in the footsteps of two other giants of Tohoku, Junichi Nishizawa, sometimes referred to as Mr. Semiconductor, and Sunichi Iwasaki, a visionary of perpendicular magnetization, a key component of hard disk drives. Surely, Professor Ono's successors will refer to him as Professor Spintronics. A true global scientist, Professor Ono has for many years been a fellow of our Institute of Physics and a fellow of the American Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. His many, many scientific achievements have been internationally recognized through an array of prestigious awards. To give you just a flavor, as early as 1998, he was awarded the IBM Japan Science Award. In 2003, he received the Magnetism Prize of the International Union of Pure and Applied Physics for the magnetism of quantum electron systems. In 2005, the Japan Academy Prize for his work on the quantum control of electrons by semiconductor nanostructures and ferromagnetism and the Agilent Technologies Europhysics Prize for work on ferromagnetic semiconductors and spintronics. In 2011, he appeared on the Thomas Reuters Laureate Citation for Physics, which is a list of candidates considered likely to win the Nobel Prize in their respective field. Most recently, in 2022, 
he was awarded the highly prestigious IEEE Magnetic Society Achievement Award for fundamental discoveries of spintronic phenomena and their applications in memory and computing technologies. Professor Ono is also passionate about communicating his enthusiasm for science and in encouraging and training and enabling the next generation of scientists and engineers. Even as a university president, he can be found giving highly interactive lectures on spintronics at the Tohoku University STEM summer program. He has traveled the world giving widely acclaimed lectures on spintronics as one of the prestigious IEEE Magnetic Society distinguished lecturers and delivered the Cantor Nanoscience Lecture here in York in 2011. He's trained over 100 graduate students directly in his lab. The education and training of global scientists has also been at the heart of the long-standing connection of our two universities. The University of York signed a memorandum of understanding with Tohoku University 20 years ago, which recognized active partnerships with the then departments of physics, chemistry, education, and electronics. As director of the Research Institute of Electrical Communication, Professor Ono led the research collaborations and exchanges in spintronics, which first manifested as the joint York Tohoku Symposium on Spintronics held alternately in each country. Over the years, hundreds of physics and engineering students, both undergraduate and graduate, have been privileged to benefit from our jointly organized summer schools and symposia, during which time the international reach has continued to grow and now includes other major players in spintronics in the UK, France, and Germany. Pro Vice Chancellor, for his dedication to spintronics, impact on technology and on young researchers, and visionary president at Tohoku University, I present Professor Hideo Ono for the degree of Doctor of the University Honoris Causa. Through the power invested in me by the University of York, it's my great pleasure to confer upon you the degree of honoris causa, Dr. University. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, I'm deeply honored to accept this esteemed honorary doctor's doctorate from the University of York. My heartfelt thanks to go to uh, professors Tracy Lightfoot, uh, Sarah Thompson, and Kieran Gibson for this distinction, and to my colleagues, uh, students at Tohoku University, and my family, uh, who have uh, shaped my career and life. For over 36 years, uh, I've dis dedicated myself uh, to spintronics. I've had the privilege of collaborating with many colleagues here uh, in York and have one time organized uh, a five-year exchange program that fosters collaboration between York and Tohoku University, my university. Well, one memorable an anecdote of exchange involves uh, a visiting graduate student from York uh, who demonstrated the art of quickly consuming bottled beer. <laughs> and this must be a well-kept secret of the University of York. Well, the non-volatile spintronics memory I've been working on, and together with my uh, colleagues at York, is composed of common ferromagnetic metals and ordinary insulators. Until 2010, it was established that uh, the direction of magnetization, magnetization had to be perpendicular uh, to the surface of high, for high performance, but no one had uh, achieved it. Contrary to the common Japanese saying, well, you don't even make something horizontal perpendicular, 
which refers to uh, the laziness of the person who, can, who, do, who doesn't do the simplest possible thing. Uh, the task in our context was formidable. Well, many groups tried various exotic materials for this purpose. However, our discovery uh, in 2010 was that simply reducing the thickness of the ferromagnetic material was sufficient and no new materials were necessary. It's, it's true that if the ferromagnetic layer is made too thin, uh, it eliminates the ferromagnetic character itself. Uh, by questioning this standard view, uh, we discovered that in regions as thin as two nanometers, a sweet spot uh, existed where the magnetization naturally aligned perpendicular to the surface. Uh, well, if your thickness is above this uh, critical thickness, it will result in in-plane, and that will not give you uh, the high performance. So uh, this perpendicular to the surface resulting in a high performance non volatile memory that people use today. So this has now become the de facto standard material system for Spintronics non volatile working memory, and it's beginning to be ut utilized as a key device to enhance the energy efficiency of servers, AI chips, and even smartwatches. Well, in conclusion, I view this honor as both a recognition and uh, my achievement and a call to duty. This sentiment extends to all the graduates and alumni gathered here today. So together, we are responsible for leveraging our knowledge and skills to contribute to the world. So congratulations, uh, the class of 2024. Let's join forces in this endeavor. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>